A very warm welcome to you all. It is the final game of the day. TVC taking on London United for a place in the final. We know who's in. We know who they'll meet. It's the Glacier Boys. They took the victory in excellent fashion in the end. A solid, solid win. As the student became the master as Boardman took the win over James Veer, 52, played 64 in that matchup. So TVC, Thames Valley Cavaliers, they line up with number one, Peter Ture, two, Mayo Adeyeye, four, Timothy Gilmore, five, Romario Spence, six, Samir Hassan, eight, Daniel Azankot, Vic, 10, Victor George, Afra Khalil, 11, and Derin Olatunde in 12. TVC have number one, Victor Olerere, number two, LeBron Roach, number three, Danny Del Sol Lowry, number four, Liam Campbell, number five, Jonathan Lashley, number six, Jean Manning, number seven, Franklin Agu, number eight, Moody Bashir, number nine, Hakeem Silla, ten, Charles Aqua Davis, eleven, Bernard Hetro, twelve, Martel McMillan. Strong, strong set of teams. Of course it is. It is the final. Or a place at the, the semi-final. A place in the final at stake for the winner of this matchup. TVC, of course, coached by Robert Banks and Kelsey Dixon. London United, led by Jack Majelski. As always, the Hoots Fix Pro Am Summer League. It's a great opportunity to see some of the best in British basketball. Players based in the UK, Europe, and in the States coming together to go head to head in London. So let's have a little bit of a wrap up of the day as we wait for the start of this one. The day started, Team Sapphire took down Team Diamond in the first women's game of the day, 52-45 to book their place in the final. They'll take on Team Emerald as they overcame Team Ruby, 46-45. Worthing Thunder won the first men's game of the day in dominant fashion, 79-54 over Cola Hip Space. They fell to the Elite Bulldogs, 49-50 in an absolute nail biter. All these games really worth you taking the time to go back and check out if you missed them the first time. They're all there on demand on our YouTube. First semi-final of the day. Glacier Boys, like we said, took down run and jump 64-52. She book the first berth in the final. And we're going to find out in a couple of minutes time if TVC or London United will be joining them. So heading into today, we've already seen Run and Jump, the 3-0 and winners of Men's Pool B. Well, they fell for the first time, London United coming in, second in Pool B. 1-2 and two record, minus 10 points differential. Taking on TVC, 2-1, and one, a plus 16 points differential for them. They, of course, top Pool A. TVC took down Glacier Boys as well last week. 55-42, quite a short-handed Galicia boys, must be said, but that takes nothing away from the work done by these Thames Valley Cavaliers squad. We're a couple of minutes out from the start of this one. 
And we'll be back in just a couple of moments. Don't go anywhere. Semi-final number two coming up in just a moment. Who's Fix Pro Am Summer League 2022? Brought to you by Jordan. A warm welcome back inside the City of London Basketball Academy. We've had a bit of a delay. Just clearing everything up, making sure that all the roster lists are correct, present and accurate. Of course, as well as being an awful lot of fun, this is a great opportunity for players to kind of showcase themselves against athletes that they don't usually come in into competition with you know events like pro-am and summer leagues can really put players on the map we've seen more examples than i could list right now of players stock being seriously elevated by being involved in in events and games such as what hoops fix have been putting on here brought to you by john brand here at the city of london basketball academy So we are ready for the opening tip and it goes the way of London United. Straight away, Daniel Izanko. Romario Spence. Good ball movement, goes down low. Peter Toure, spinning his way to the basket. Turned it over. Get my movement, 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 get my movement
John Manning. Driving inside, kicks to the corner, threes on the way, just off the mark from Charles Aki Davis. Got a foul. Called on Jonathan Lashley. Mario Spence driving inside, gets the first bucket of the ball game. London United with the opening basket. Sends it to the corner, threes on the way, it's good. From outside, Martel McLemore makes no mistakes. Spence picked up by Lashley again. Azanko. Goes inside. And that's out of bounds. That's the wrong way! Looked like it was last touch red, but it... It stays with... London United. Spence, oh, rejected by Jonathan Lashley. Azancock, can he put the triple away? Too strong, just as the 24 second expires. Initially a good deceleration, long pass out. Spence. Going to work on Manning, Spence. Tough finish, good to go. London United, stretching their legs there up by one. Danny Del Sol Lowry. Fouled by Zanko. That's you all day. That's you all day. Backcourt violation. Bit of a Bit of a lapse in concentration there, perhaps. Zancott. Great skip pass. Can't go from three. McLemore. Still McLemore. Kicks it to the corner. That's been pulled down well by Delso Lowry. Gets him jumping. Gets him jumping. Puts it away. That's just good fundamental hoops. CVC lead it. Five to four. Zancott. Can't go. John Manning. Taking it the other way. Great kick. Good finish. Jonathan Lashley. Kim Silla ready to check in next time for TVC. They're up seven to four. Spence. Hands off to Zancott. Wickham, oh, beautiful, puts it down from the block. Robert Banks, just clarifying a few things with the table. Let him know that. They'll hear him when he calls us up. Danny Del Sol Lowry, Hakeem Silla, his first action in the game. Just short. It was a good stand in the end by Peter Wickham. Sorry, Justin Wickham. Zancott. Kicks it to the top. Khalil. Little two man game. Remember, placing the final is at stake. Romario Spence can't get it to go. Manning. Silla. Under good pressure. Gets a shot away still. Spence, though. Going to take it the other way. Khalil. Stop! Stop! Goes inside. Oh, gets it to go. Stop! Peter Toure. 
Bernard Hetro into the game for the first time. As is Timothy Gilmore for London United. That's a foul, Romario Spence. That's going to be a one point foul. He's going to tie to eight. TVC, London United looking for a place in the final. They'll be taking on the Glacier Boys. Whichever side gets there, Glacier Boys just took down. Run and jump 64 52 in the first semi final of the day. After a Khalil trying to get open. Spence bounce pass back to Timothy Gilmore. Gilmore over the timeline. Sent to the corner. Khalil. Here's to shoot it. Spence. Bounce it off his own foot that time. Danny Del Sol Lowry. Pushing the tempo. It's a good finish on the putback. Hakeem Silla. Skip pass over the top. Gilmore. Get it out. High. Get out. Off the backboard. Can go. McLemore taking it the other way. Goes behind his own back. Oh, ball. Khalil. Is uncut. No good. That's a foul there. Jean Manning. So it's a three point play. Peter Ture making no mistakes on that play. <laughs> 11 plays 10, TVC. Down one to London United. Manning can't go. Romario Spence pulls that down despite Hetro's pressure. And London United get two to go. Zancott. Good pass. A little too strong on the finish, Manning. Afra Khalil over the timeline. London United up 13 to 10 over TVC. Romario Spence goes in, gets it to go. The lead is now five. Zancott nearly had it turned over. That's a great play, Hakeem Silla being aggressive, using his size and speed to his advantage. 12 plays 15. Offensive Stop. foul called on Afra Khalil. Stop. Hey, we should have 13. Hey, we should have, have 13. We should have 13. He just you no, left it's 12-15. Oh, it was wrong earlier. I was wrong. So 12-15 is the score. Final minute. Clock stays running, remember, until the final two minutes of the contest. So 12 plays 15. TVC take it over the timeline with Campbell. Campbell pulls up at the stripe, puts it down at the stripe. It's a one point contest. Zancott. Franklin Agu going to check in for the first time. Shot up. Get no out. good. Pulled down by Hetro. 20 seconds, Manning. A little give and go. Gets the shot. Off to the right. Shot clock is turned off. 10 seconds to shoot it. Afra Khalil. Spence from the mid range. Fade away. Good. At the buzzer, London United take a 17 to 14 lead in to the end of the first intermission. A strong start from TVC, but London United, they battle back and then there's been trading blows ever since. We're gonna take a quick moment here. London United up 17 to 14. 
Over to UDC, the second semi final, Hoop 6 Prime Summer League 22, brought to you by Jordan Brown. Thank you so much. Welcome back in to the City of London Basketball Academy. Second quarter about to get underway. The final game of the day of week four. Second semi-final. Looking for a place in the final four next weekend. If you're looking to be here next weekend, check out hoopsflix.com and all the social media for ways in which you can be here enjoying the show live. And again, a massive thank you for taking time to join us on the Hoops Fix YouTube this beautiful Saturday. Hope it's been nice where you've been, all around the UK, all around the world, watching some of the top talent in British basketball, based both in the UK, Europe, and in the States. So, London United are up 17-14 to 14 over TVC. London United in the black uniforms. It's black ball. London United in the red uniforms. Quick run through their roster again. Peter Torre, Mayo Adeyeye, Timothy Gilmore, Romario Spence, Samir Hassan, Daniel Zancott, Victor George, Afra Khalil, Darren Olatunde, and Justin Wickham. TBC in the black uniforms. Victor Olararin, Oman Arikanov, Danny Delsol Lowry, Liam Campbell, Jonathan Lashley, Jean Manning, Franklin Agu, he's wearing seven. Moody Bashir, Hakeem Sillett, Charles Akadavis, Bernard Hetro, and Martel McLemore. Nah, they are the two rosters that are going to go to battle for the final 30 minutes of week four in his Heaps Fix Prime Summer League 2022 and it's brought to you by Jordan Brand prevented the inbound well unfortunately smacked Kai Walker in the back of the head as it bounced off the back wall beautiful layoff pass fouled Hakeem Silla so it's one point goes the way of TVC 15 plays 17 credit Victor Olerarin on that pass by the way Del Sol Lowry getting that separation ties us at 17 apiece. Gets inside Peter Toure. 17 plays 17. Lots of talking from both benches towards officials. And towards the players, as that stays out of bounds, rather. So TBC pushing the tempo, Victor Olerarin can't finish, Akeem Silla is going to stay Gonna stay TVC ball. Kicks out, beautiful pass, beautiful finish. 
Liam Campbell sinks the triple. Victor George, challenged by Agu, sends it to the corner, Wickham inside, that's good, basketball, Timothy Gilmore with the finish, 20 plays, 19, triples on the way, Ooh, nearly for Oleraren, Africa Lil goes to the handoff inside, can go for Wickham, long three, just off the mark. And the United's coach, Majelski, not happy with what he's just seen. He's asking the question, why are we, basically, why are we rushing? Why are we shooting that? So Victor George. Victor George picks up the foul. TBC possession. Danny Del Sol Lowry. Looking to go inside. Goes into the painted area. Battling through contact. He's fouled in the act of shooting. So one point will go. So reminder. If you're fouled in the act of shooting, you'll get We've got five. an and one if you make it. And if you miss, you get one point less than the shot value that you attempted. McLemore ready to sub in next time. Play, play, play. Stop. Romario Spence finds Africa Lil. Skipped it to Wickham, Wickham. Somehow stayed in bounds. Can finish Del Sol Lowry. Using that change of pace, that change of direction so effectively. Oh, travel called. Jonathan Lashley, Martel McLemore checking into the contest. Timothy Gilmore sits down for London United. For the first time, Sami Hassan into the game. Afra Khalil pulls up from three, sinks the triple. Had the separation. It looked like he was challenging the defender. Danny Del Sol Lowry using that screen from Lashley. Puts it up. Shot was short, Franklin Agu pulled it down. Five to shoot, Jonathan Lashley. Into the hands of Romario Spence, that rebound. Jean Manning ready to check in next time. Great stand by Jonathan Lashley. I mean, that's what we've expected of him for years, since his days as a London Lion, in fact. Franklin Agu was stripped. So one point goes the way of TBC. That should tie us at 22, it does. So John Manning into the contest for TBC. Bit of a delay there. It's uh, Smith Hassan tying his lace. Very nice sneakers, don't get me wrong. Afra Khalil over the timeline. Beautiful pass out to Spence. Spence taking on Lashley. Battle of the Bigs. Spence wins it that time. Foul called on Lashley. Watch the elbow, Foul please. is on the four. Bounce pass to Spence. Help! Help! Driving inside, spin move, fakes one way, goes the other. I think Lashley may have even got a touch on that. Jonathan Lashley puts it home. The assist, Liam Campbell. Hassan. Khalil. Stay up, stay up. Good. 
the double comes wide open finish and one through contact Peter Toure and just like that London United back in front 25-24 so substitutions take a place. Franklin Agu sitting down. In his place, Bernard Hetro. So the clock stays running. Under two and a half minutes left in the first half. Stop, please. Manning taking over the timeline using that screen set by Jonathan Lashley a moment a show double for just a moment made life more difficult for him picked up by the third defender in the end he stepped out of bounds as he lost the handle so it's Aqua Davis able to sub in in place of Liam Campbell. All right, let's keep that ball moving. So London United up by one over TBC. A couple of minutes left, well, actually one and a half minutes left in this second semi-final. Final game of the day, game six here at week four of the Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League. Oh, beautiful pass inside, fouled in the act of shooting. So credit, credit Peter Toure. Time out, please. Time out, please. With the bucket. So TVC, they want to talk things over. They're down 24-26 to Land United with just over a minute left in the second semi-final. We'll be back in just a moment. Hoops Fix Prime Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan Brand. We got one minute and 12 left in this first half. TBC down by two to London United. 24 plays 26. It'll be TBC ball. <laughs> Casually taken in by Martel McNamore, still adjusted his shoes. Takes it with one hand, oh, Afra Khalil though, out of nowhere, snipes him. There's nothing casual about that from McNamore then. Just really good defense. Going inside, can't get it to go, Peter Toure. Pushing tempo, 50 seconds. Less than Charles Aquidavis. He's gonna stay with TVC, clock still rolling. Alfred Khalil trying desperately to convince our match officials that that was his. 12 seconds to shoot it. Under 20 left in the first half. Delso Lowry thought about the triple. Martel McLemore off the back iron. A beautiful pass out to Wickham who slums it home. Two seconds. Delso Lowry gets the shot away. And it's way too strong that time. The end of the first half, TVC trail 24-28 to London United. 
We'll be back for the second half in a couple of minutes' time. Who's Six Prime Summer League 2022 brought to you by the Jordan brand. Semi final two continues in a couple of minutes' time. Second half is just moments away here. Game six, final game of the day. TVC London United. TVC are down 24 to 30 against London United. Let's take a look at the scorers. I mean, it's the Peter Touré show in terms of scoring 15 points. He leads all scorers. Liam Campbell uh, and Danny Del Sol Lowry tied on five for the leading scorers for TVC. Peter Touré, of course, wearing one playing his basketball in Casper. And a, an American Juco came through Cola as well as itching basketball. So, very, a bit of a storied career already for the young man, Peter Ture. And he is showing his worth here, 20 minutes away from making the final. That, of course, as we know, is an absolute age in the game of basketball. So, London United taking us up the floor for the first time. In this second half, Afra Khalil sent it to the corner. It is Peter Toure. Makes no mistake inside. And that's good for two. Jonathan Lashley finds Mark Tell McLemore. Can bounce off of the feet of McLemore. So it stays with London United. 24-32 to score, London United in the lead. Afra Khalil. Oh, wide open. Can't go. Got lucky there, Martel McLemore did. Drive kick, good ball movement. Three's on the way. No good. That time from Jean Manning. Bounce pass picked off by Manning. Good defensive uh, instincts. Charles Aqua Davis hands off to Danny Delso. Lowry sees the lane, drives it. Fouled. One point foul. So it was in the act of shooting. 25 plays 32. McLemore is sitting down as does Afra Khalil checking in for the first time Maya Adeyeye sorry Darren Olatunde my apologies misread 12 yeah. for 2 Wickham Toure Hassan Olatunde Zankar, this is good ball movement. They've got to do something with it. 
thrown down. Foul on six, so that's one Manning with the foul. So 14 on the shot clock. Fouls on the floor, so non-shooting foul, so no points awarded. And Stan, aka Hoops by Huncho, to the rescue with the towel. Is there no limit to this man's talent, entertainment talent? I'm being Johnny on the spot with the towel. So 14 seconds on the shot clock. The game clock keeps on rolling. And it won't stop until the final two minutes of the final period of play. Another foul on Manning. I make that foul number three on John Manning. Driving inside, great pass. Good finish. Justin Wickham. Danny Del Sol Lowry hands off to Jean Manning. Screen set. Still Manning. Del Sol Lowry sends it down low. Silla. Can't get their very high arcing shot to go. Twenty-five place thirty-four. Afra Khalil drives, kicks back to the top. Wickham to the corner. Gilmore rejected, fouled. Called on five. That's Jonathan Lashley. Make that Lashley's third foul as well. So Manning and Lashley need to be really careful. Charles Aku Davis sits down. In fact, that's uh, Jonathan Lashley's fourth foul. So he needs to be careful already in foul trouble. Remains on the floor. Beautiful finish, Danny Del Sol Lowry. 27-35. Azanko. Spence. Peter Toure finds just the a glimmer of space in which to work. And he comes up big with a basket. Zancott picks up his first foul in the contest. Sorry, second foul. Let's go, get it out. So two players. Get it out. On foul trouble, Jonathan Lashley and John Manning, four and three fouls apiece for TVC. Nobody in foul trouble yet for London United. And one to watch, Lashley. Attacking Spence, can get it to go. Great rebound and put back, can go from Silla. Lashley, busy underneath the basket. 10 point difference, four minutes to play in the third. Del Sol Lowry, Manning, triple, doesn't go into the hands of Zankot. Pushing the tempo, Afra Khalil. Foul called. So foul on the floor. It's TBC's third foul. Clock stays running. 27 plays 37. Zancott. Khalil. Four seconds, it looks good. It's the end product, Peter Toure. Gets it to go. Had 
four TV shirts, TVC shirts around him. He's out of bounds. Hetro. Give me a timeout, please. Timeout has been taken by TVC. That's their first of the second half. They're down by 12. And Robert Banks has some stuff that he needs to talk over with his team as they're taking a break. So will we. Back in a moment. Ipswich Prom, somebody 2022 presented by the Jordan Brown. A huge thank you again to Ashlyn, who is having to listen to me commentate right next to them all day and is doing an amazing job on the live stream. So a huge, huge thank you to her and everybody who has made this a brilliant event. We've got two and a half minutes left in game number six of week four. It is the second semi-final. Turei is fouled and that puts... TVC in the penalty. That's Bernard Henetro's first foul. So two points. Two points because TVC are in the penalty. So London United stretch their advantage yet further. 27 plays 40. Del Sol Lowry trying to find the opening. Olaherin elevates from the elbow. Afra Khalil. Good deny there by Olerarin. Threes on the way. Threes down. Timothy Gilmore had Jonathan Lashley's hand in his face. Three goes. Charles Aqua Davis. Again, Jonathan Lashley playing a very physical brand of basketball. He's just got one foul to play with. In fact, he has no fouls to play with. One foul and his day is done. Three's on the way. P. Timothy Gilmore sinks another triple. Olerarin swatted by Peter Toure, who immediately lets him know. The timeout has been taken by London United. 37 seconds left in the third. His London United are up 46 32 over TVC. Hoop 6 Pro Am continues in just a moment. Fourteen points the difference right now. London United in the lead. TVC with the possession. Thirty-five seconds left in the third. 
Charles Aqua Davis gets to his spot, makes it count. Trying to slow down Daniel Azanka over the timeline. 18 seconds on the shot clock. 19 seconds on the game clock. In the third period of play. Mario Spence. That's really clean defense again by Jonathan Lashley. It had to be. Good ball movement. Three seconds. Gilmore goes inside. Can't get it to go. But the offensive rebound. And the putback is good. At the brink of three-quarter time, the score, 34-48, London United leading it. And some very, very frustrated faces on the TVC bench right now. They are going to need, well, they need more, more of just about everything as we head into the final 10 minutes. Final eight minutes first eight minutes of the final period will be played as we've played every other game all day long final two minutes though regulation fever stop clock basketball is that the, is that lead 14 points is that insurmountable in 10 minutes don't be absolutely ridiculous of course it's not. however tvc they're going to need to really start to push the tempo push the ante they want to take the win today and they want to get to the final to face the Glacier Boys. And TBC, arguably the favourites in this matchup. Better record coming in, better points differential coming in. But this is why we play the games. Basketball is not a sport. Played on paper, it's played on the hardwood. Follow Raring will get us underway. Final 10 minutes of week four. Final 10 minutes of the semi final. It's underway. Aqua Davis finds a lane. Great pass. Agu can't go. Spence pulls that down. Is Ancott sends it inside. Del Sol Lowry taking it the other way. Over the timeline. Goes inside. Tries to elevate. Ooh, foul called. Tells Aqua Davis. First foul for Aqua Davis. Right now, next. ready to check in next time. With Hakeem Silla. 14 points, not insurmountable, but they do need. Oh, it's a foul in the corner. Three point attempt. So that's two points given. And that puts London United up to 50 points. 34 plays 50. Foul called on Aqua Davis. Jonathan Lashley nets it from outside, big three. Oh, forced out of bounds as well, Romario Spence. And Jonathan Lashley, his day is done. He's just fouled out. He managed that final foul for the better part of 10 minutes, and he's just sunk a triple. Spence, long two, two feet on the line. Oleraren still pushing the tempo for his team. El Sol Lowry kicks out. McLemore can't go from outside. Foul called. Hakeem Silla. 
Oh, and a technical foul on Hakeem Silla. So TBC, four fouls already. 52 plays 37. Fifty-three thirty-seven. Technical point awarded. Zanko gets inside. Peter Toure dispossessed. It remains London United ball. How many points does Peter Toure? Twenty-four points in the contest. That is absurd. What a performance we're seeing from him. Romario Spence kicks it out. Zanko spinning his way inside, traveling his way inside. But yeah, the Peter Toure numbers right now, 24 points as Aqua Davis kicks it out to Hakeem Silla. Good in the paint. That's just what TVC need. Now they need to stop. Yeah, with the, with the, the shot clock, or the, the game clock rather, not stop at any point. That is massive production from Toure. Not able to gather that in there, Del Sol Lowry. 14 points the difference. 520 to play. Toure. Looking to go inside. Spin moves. Can't get the righty finish. McLemore. Casual behind the back. No call on the plate, either way, Toure finds Spence. Well, Manning got it, sorry, Olerarian got his hand out just in nick of time. Three's on the way, Gilmore reigns it home from outside. 39 plays 56. Triple, good, Victor Olerarian. Zancott. Great control. Foul, in fact, on Olerarin. Initially, it looked like a good contest directly in front of us, but uh, illegally so. First foul called on Olerarin. Four minutes and change remaining in the contest. That might just be Peter Toure's day done. Unless something goes drastically wrong. For London United. Is Ancott. Finds Spence. Hand off to Gilmore. Gilmore going inside. He's in the paint. Spin move. Can't get the finish. But it was there, thereabouts. Lovely outlet pass from Olerarin. Finds Hakeem Silla. Going inside of Zankot. Goes back inside. Tough miss on the fadeaway. Batting around. Stays with London United. Justin Wickham. In fact, Hakeem Silla adjusted to last touch it. Spence on the outside, three minutes to play in the second semi-final, final game of the day of week four. Gilmore pulls up at the stripe, too strong. Olerarian going to take it the other way. The pace on Olerarian! Oh my goodness! Has everybody off their feet! And a timeout has to be taken. London United, Victor Olerarian! <laughs> Everybody in the gym, mind your head, raise the roof. Pick the Ola rare and what have we seen? 46 57 the score. TVC just got an absolute rocket from Victor Ola rare in 241 to play. Immediate timeout by London United. Jack Majewski 
absolutely cannot risk anybody in this gym. They just don't do it until after the timeout. I don't know why. Well, well, what do you have? I have it is Nobody. Yeah, yeah, hey, that's right. Yeah. yeah, London United, like I was saying, can't afford TBC to ride that particular wave. Everybody was up. I cannot wait to watch that back later. 57 place, 46. So 2.41 to go, TDC, they're in the penalty. So you may hear some conversation from coaches and uh, and the table and Ashley and the referees right now, just confirming the score, just make sure that everybody is on. Make sure everybody is absolutely clear. Nobody wants to have any misconceptions heading into the final 241 of this semi-final. TVC, they are still right in this game, but they need a stop right now. Touré back into the contest for London United. Gilmore, still Gilmore, 90 shoot it. Khalil, good ball inside. Pauline defense, but it's into the hands of Afra Khalil once more. But the shot, the buzzer went. I think it should have been a 14 second reset though. On a rare in. Couldn't get it to go. A bit of a rush job. From Honorary. We're inside two minutes. Now the stop. Now the clock will stop. 155 to go. TVC with possession. Now we're into the realm of free throws as well for the first time in this contest. Came off the foot. Oh, Peter Toure. We need a bucket, we need to, we need, we need to pick him up. Robert Banks, TBC head coach, telling his team they need a bucket and then they need to pick up the defence. Absolutely, they need a bucket and a stop. Bucket and a steal would be even better right now. Olerarin tries to send it inside to Silla. Still Hakeem Silla, through contact, good for two. He's headed to the stripe. Again, we're into the final two minutes. So it's now a normal game of basketball. It's not something I've massively considered. Is you know how much of an adjustment is that mentally for the players? Who's on nine? I wonder as Scylla. At the stripe, the and one. Can't go, and that's out of play. That's London United ball. Nine point game. TVC, they're chipping away. They've got a minute 35. Again, they need a stop. London United, could they ice the game with a make? Gilmore, in his bag. Khalil. It's Gilmore again, 120 to play, eight seconds on the shot clock. Gilmore, he could pull up when he wants to. Spence, Gilmore, long three. Doesn't go, but a great way to kill 24 seconds. Olerarin does not have that luxury, got to go fast. Inside, that was so Lowry met it in the line, fouled. He's headed to shoot two. I think that foul called on Peter Toure. Victor, hey, get next to who, stand next to who you're boarding. Hey, don't stand next to who you're boarding. So 58.7 seconds. Nine point ball game. Could be seven. First is off the mark from Del Sol Lowry. Yes. 
Second also short from Del Sol Lowry. TBC. Oh, great steal. Olerarin elevates. Floats it home. Great pressure. Kilmore does fantastically well to get that clear. No foul call. That is a foul. And that's unsportsmanlike. Leah Page. Match official. You know that's gonna happen. Calls the unsportsmanlike. I think the officials are gonna talk it over. You know that's so gonna happen. So it still remains the call. So Yes, there's always going to be a foul on the play. Yes, there were players back, but it was the nature of the foul. There was no player at the ball. That is the interpretation of the officials and the rules as, as we understand them. No player at the ball. From behind, a pullback. Again, a foul needs to be made. Zankot goes one of two, but crucially, it is possession for London United on 58 points. So 50 plays, 58. So eight se points the difference, 41.8 seconds. TVC have a timeout left if they want it if they find a use for it Afra Khalil Spence kicks out this is great keep away as Ancott going inside puts it up can't go final 30 seconds Silla can't finish and that's going to do it in this one good ball movement Puts the cherry on a brilliant individual performance into the corner. The three ball is off the mark from Olerarin. 13 seconds to play. That's good from Hakeem Silla. 10.9 seconds to play. It's all heart now. Peter Toure. Franklin Agu and Azanko. They're going to dribble it out. And after a brilliant game of basketball, London United book their place in the final. They have taken it 60 to 52 over TVC. We know now all our matchups for next week. But let's talk about Peter Toure finishing with that monster jam at the end. 26 points in the contest to go along with three rebounds. 26 minutes in 38 minutes of continuous non-stop action is just absurd in, in, a, in a standard basketball game it's a really nice day what he's done here is frankly special that was a brilliant brilliant advert for the sport of basketball and we are so glad that you were able to enjoy it I hope you enjoyed all of week four of the Hoops Fix Pro-Am Summer League 2022 action. We're back next Friday. It's the finals, the men's final. We're gonna see the Glacier Boys taking on London United in the women's final. Team Sapphire taking on Team Emerald. For third place, run and jump, taking on TVC. And for the... Right for the 5 6 final, Worthing Thunder and the Elite Bulldogs. And for 7 8, we've got Cola taking on Hoops Place. It's going to be a brilliant, brilliant day next Saturday. Make sure you join us. From everybody here at the City London Basketball Academy, thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League brought to you by Jordan. We'll see you next week. <laughs>